It's a simple recipe, one that hasn't changed much in decades. The main ingredient, Maryland apples. Well, some of them are from Maryland. The apples that we process here come from the orchards, the growers in the Mid-Atlantic region, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, New York, Delaware. Just outside of downtown Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, this apple processing plant is one of six operated by Naus Foods. You may be familiar with some of their products. We make applesauce and apple juice at this plant. A grower-owned co-op, Naus Foods was founded in 1949. Back in the day, there was a group of orchard owners that were looking for a place for their fruit to be processed, and it was just born from there. One of those original grower owners was George William Gardenauer, a Washington County fruit farmer whose grandson, Bill Gardenauer, continues to grow peaches, berries, and, of course, apples, on 200 acres just 20 miles south in Smithsburg. My grandfather bought this farm in 1940, I'm the third generation here, and I knew what I wanted to do since I was probably 10 years old. Which was farm, despite and because of the challenges. We're picking Golden Delicious here. We have about 12 guys helping us pick apples, and it's all done by hand. The new two years are the same, so just because something worked one way last year or five years ago doesn't mean it's going to be the same this year. This year, as with most years, one of the biggest challenges for Bill's apple crop has been weather. With fluctuating temperatures in spring... We lost a lot of fruit. ...and hot, dry weather in August and September. We need cool nights and sunny days for nice color. But this year we've had everything but that. <laughs> but when they're ripe, they're ripe. So the color is definitely off this year. It's really off. But most of them still taste pretty good. Bill sells some of his apples on farm to local customers and some to packers that distribute them to grocery stores. And then the rest of them, the, the bulk of them, the 60 or 65 percent there, whatever's left, go to processor to make applesauce, pie filling, and so forth. So how does he choose which end up where? There's some apples that are better for different uses. Gala, Fuji, Honeycrisp, they're pretty much an eating apple that goes directly to the consumer. There's other apples, the Yorks, some Romes, a lot of Golden Delicious. They're good processing apples. Today's crop of Goldens are destined for applesauce. By the end of the day, they'll be in cold storage at Naus. Our processing apples pretty much go 100% to Naus Foods. We rely on them a lot to use our apples and find us a good market for it. If we wouldn't have them, there's some years we would really be hurting. And they aren't the only growers to rely on Naus. Each day, the Chambersburg plant alone processes about 14,000 bushels of apples, producing over 560,000 pounds of applesauce. That's more than 2.2 million servings, all cooked up with the help of specialized gizmos and gadgets. But it hasn't always been that way. Back in the day, there would be a lot of ladies or gentlemen peeling fruit, corn fruit. It used to be a lot more manual labor involved than it is right now. The recipe calls for a mix of different apple varieties. For the most part, you're going to have some type of gold apple in the blend. You're going to have some type of rome apple in the blend. And you're going to have some type of harder, starchier apple in the blend. The gold will lend flavor, the room will let a substance to it. The harder York-type apple will allow you to keep a substance and a finish to the applesauce. All of them are dumped into the hopper, and then it's time to make some applesauce. They'll go through an inspection process where they're looking to remove field debris, such as leaves and stems and stones. Next, they're peeled and cored rinsed with water and citric acid to prevent browning, chopped and sprinkled with extra ingredients like cinnamon and sugar, and finally cooked. Once the apples are cooked, they'll be filled into a container, whether it be a four ounce container or a 48 ounce container. A label will be put on it and it will be packaged and ready to go out the door. Making its way to grocery stores nationwide, a taste of fall from Maryland orchards to your table.